Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your weekly reading for the dates listed in the title. Hopefully there is something in these general messages that will be helpful for you for the upcoming reading. It won't be anything too heavy, I will just be picking out three cards here, so hopefully there is something here that will help you along the way. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information that you require, such as my email list of prices and services, are all listed below this video. Otherwise, I do want to thank you so much for being here, for enjoying the channel. If you enjoy this weekly content, don't forget to leave behind a like. Otherwise, let's get straight into it and have a look and see what is potentially coming up with the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week ahead. Okay, the first card you have here is the King of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, quite powerful here, Aquarius. Let's start off with the beautiful King of Pentacles. This is the sign of Taurus. In particular, you have the sign of Taurus and Gemini, which have come up around you. You might be meeting one of these people or this or someone under this sign or heavily influenced by these signs might be coming in around you. Now, the King of Pentacles, some of you might have a Taurus coming in around you or an Earth sign. Um... This could be through career. I feel like you might be reaching um, a lot of growth in your career in the upcoming week. The King of Pentacles is the last king of the deck. There's a certain refined energy about him. There's a lot of finesse about him, a lot of seniority, okay? It's someone that's extremely knowledgeable or you that's kind of, that's being elevated into such a position here. So could be temporary, um, but I do see you building solid foundations, especially when it comes to work or business. If you're wanting to enter into the entrepreneurial realm or start your own business, the upcoming week might be an auspicious time for you to do so. In fact, I do see you meeting with destined people here that will definitely help you along your path to money, fame, wealth or success. But look, it's quite a sensual energy. Some of you might be connecting with this person or you might be entering into a Taurian element, a lot of stability and loyalty from someone around you. So very nice growth. I feel like someone around you could be evolving, um, especially in, these, in, in this way. It could be like your partner is being promoted. It could be like your partner is learning more about loyalty and how to be more monogamous. You know, it could come with a lot with Taurian signs maybe more generous, maybe this person is living a more cultured, more more high life, you know, and this could be you, Aquarius. You know, the King of Pentacles is often seen with has has a lot of has a lot to do with ownership, has a lot to do with money, with finances, with ownership. So I'm seeing that you could definitely be living the high life, okay? There could be luxurious events, places, people coming in around you. There's a lot of affluence, they're well connected. Again, pres uh, prestigiousness comes up with the King of Pentacles deeply accomplished person might be coming in or this could be a move okay a move for the family a relocation of property looking for new property or a large sum of money that might be making its way into your bank account into your pockets in the upcoming week what i love here is that the king of pentacles looks over to the lovers card very subtly um You've got a soulmate coming through here, Curious. It could definitely be someone that's under the sign of a Gemini or does have heavy Gemini influence in their natal birth chart. The Lovers card is a soulmate, okay? An angel here, a divine entity, a divine power. Call it what you will. Give it any label that you would like. The gods, the universe, angels, spirit, manifestation, energy, the law of attraction. You are being connected to someone that is your equal. Someone that you are meant to create something with and what do we have here we have adam and eve you know the, the biblical story of creation which actually has roots in i think of the mesopotamian myth which was or was it the babylonian um enuma elish but look it's it's a reinterpretation of that story of that creation myth and basically what it says is that these two people are pioneers in creating something they were destined to create together some of you are destined to create a family a lifelong relationship or maybe even a career path with this person they're brought to you for a high, within a higher power the sun is illuminated the angel emerges from the clouds and gives you the blessing gives you the validation that you need, Aquarius. So if this isn't a mess, enough of a message to tell you that the person around you is your soulmate or that you're meeting a soulmate, whether through career or through love or personal, you know, personal endeavors, you know, if this isn't enough of a sign, Aqua, I don't know what is because it's an absolutely fantastic card, fantastic energy. Some of you might be meeting a, a twin flame, you know, it's the twins. 
uh, it's twin energy, okay? So you might be meeting someone that is your equal, someone that is looking for the same thing as you. And essentially, that's why you are being brought together to connect in such a powerful way uh, and create something very, very powerful. It's understanding. You can see that they're stripping bare and they're revealing their true selves. You've, there's a lot of honesty, okay? It's like they've got nowhere to look because they're all exposed, but they accept each other anyway. It's all illuminated. The sun is bright and, you know, puts everything in. It's all about creation and, and fertility and, and giving birth to new ideas or, you know, new stages in our lives. So for some of you, this could definitely be uh, procreation okay becoming pregnant planning a family you've got a young child in these cards Aquarius who is this young child okay you might be thinking about expanding the family or you might be meeting someone that is your soulmate and that already does have a young child okay from a past relationship or a past connection here um, you might be meeting through the community it is a face-to-face -face meeting it, it's either through work um, or it's through the family or the community um, or something like this or the spiritual community, religious, bumping into each other. It's quite a powerful um, connection here with the lover's card. Definitely more intimacy, but I see it to be quite sensual. Okay, the, the Gemini energy, yes, it is quite fun. They like to keep things versatile and fun and frisky and, you know, a little bit adventurous and exciting. But then I feel like the King of Pentacles is also here and he brings a lot of sensuality. Okay, he's definitely one that takes things slow and sensual and you know just immersing yourself and appealing to all those five senses so it's definitely reliving some kind of fantasy or dream here especially sexual passion you know there's nudity here um, the lovers have a, a very beautiful connection here definitely a very strong physical attraction towards each other and you know I think it's it's intimacy is very heightened for you in the upcoming um, in the upcoming uh, week. This could also be an interview. Let's take love out of it for a second, Aqua. It could definitely be an interview and you are meeting with the King of Pentacles. You're going to need to impress this person because they're extremely experienced. I feel like this person might have had a family business or built things up from the ground up. So this might be someone interviewing you that wants to see or wants to hear or wants you to demonstrate an example of how you would build things from the ground up and how your seniority, how your dedication or your ethic will come in and be similar to theirs. Because if you can appeal to that side of them, yet still being, you know, fun and um, likable and personable, which you naturally are, Aquarius, if you can have join those two, merge those two, then you can be extremely successful because there is a new beginning and it could very well be an offer that's made from the, the King of Pentacles here or even the Gemini person that may offer you some money or a working opportunity here, lucrative opportunity um, with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, it's cre creating a legacy here. So for some, it might be creating a legacy, creating a family, coming together to have children um, or create that family home, that unit, that milestone. Absolutely. For others, it could be a financial legacy. It could be a brand. It could be a name. It could be a reflection of you, Aquarius. It's something you've wanted to do for quite some time. This upcoming week might see some major contributions to that. Definitely financial. Could be um, a family business that's been, that you might be a part of, that you might see the growth of. Um, there could be a lot of money put into this. This is a property, investments, finances. Um, it will really open a lot of doors for you is what I'm seeing, Aquarius. So that's very, very positive. I think on the financial front, on career, if I look at it in, in a career context, I do see that you are building very strong relationships or connections with very influential, important people, management, um, agents, scouts, you know, whoever's important in your industry, uh, you're being inspired and you're connecting and it's helping you. It's all for the greater good. It's all It all has a higher purpose here for you, Aquarius. Um, and it'll bring you things in the physical. Money, wealth, property, assets, benefits in, in some regard here with the Ten of Pentacles. But it can be a reconciliation, okay? It can be bumping into someone or meeting someone from the past, reconnecting with them because the Ten of Pentacles is all about familiarity. Um, you might even be meeting a soulmate from a past life here as well. So it can be quite deep here for you, Aquarius, in the upcoming weeks. So I will leave it at that, though. I hope this reading has been insightful. Um, please don't forget to leave behind a like, Aqua. Would really appreciate it. Take care. Have a wonderful week and we'll connect soon. Bye for now.